Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So good day again everyone So today we will be discussing about quadratic functions So quadratic functions basically are structured like this You will have your values for y is equals to ax squared plus bx plus c Or we have our some cases na f of x is equals to ax squared plus bx plus c so generally what happens here is as the value of x change okay the y value will also change okay so it the, uh, the the value of the function depends upon the value of the x and um, by the looks of our given okay quadratic function kasi what we will be doing is we will also be graphing okay quadratic functions are generally parabolic in nature when you talk about parabolic um graph niya would be either be um a curve a single curve okay either upwards or downwards so it opens downwards ito, or it opens upwards okay parabolic in nature um, so we have this uh, yeah, cartesian thing okay so firstly how do we define that a given is a quadratic function of course we look at our general structure or our general form which is of course um y is equals to ax squared plus bx plus c we're in, magkakaroon tayo ng conditions, okay? That A, B, and C are elements of real numbers. And at the same time, A cannot be equals to 0. Bakit po? Kasi the only thing that makes this given quadratic is this quadratic part. Okay? Yung quadratic term na tinatawag. Okay? So, in this part, um, you will notice that you will have an x squared. Okay, so the x does not actually, uh, I mean the a, b, and c does not actually matter, or even the b and c, except for a. Kasi bakit? The a cannot be 0. Kasi remember, if the a becomes 0, then meaning you will have this given. 0 x squared plus, say we have 6, 6 x plus 7. Okay, so kapag ka naging 0 yan, any number multiplied by 0 would be to immediately cancelled out. So mangyari dyan, magiging 6 x plus 7 na lang. And remember, 6x plus 7, that is a linear function, meaning isang line lang yan. Wherein our given should be a quadratic. Ganito yung given niya. It's a parabolic um, graph. Okay? So again, yun nga, sabi ko nga, from the restriction itself, it can never be, um, the a can never be 0. Okay? It must always have an x squared. So meaning, um, examples of um, quadratic functions could be this. y is equals to 9x squared. That's 1. Good. y is equals to 7x squared minus 3. Quadratic pa rin. y is equals to um, negative 3x squared plus 2x. Quadratic pa rin. Long as the x squared exists, meaning the given will always be quadratic. Okay po? Next. So now, um, what are the different ways of uh, of graphing our um our quadratic function? Okay, so there are a couple of ways. And the very first one and the easiest one is actually by using the um, what call is the table of values. Now, in the table of values, what happens here is um you will just simply plug in any value for your um x or y, or uh, the best is the x, because the given natin is y is equals to the function. Okay. So you will give a value for the value of x and then you will plug in into that and then um, give as many values of x that you could okay so that you will be able to get different values for y as well so what do i mean by that say we have this given um, let's have an example y is equals to x squared plus 2x plus 1 so we have our function here it's all yes it's quadratic kasi meron siyang x squared okay what we need to do here is we need to um, uh, get uh, establish our um, table of values first, okay? Meaning we will have a value for x, we will have a value for y, and our equation would be still this one, okay? Po? So what happens here in the table of values is this one. Uh, you will just construct a simple table, po, okay? Oh my God, wait now for a while. Let me just make that. Okay, there you go. Okay. Okay. And then we have this. Okay. So, magpa-plug in kayo ng value for x. Meaning, yun, you will solve mo you will solve most likely. So, this is 
manghuhula kayo, technically, ganun po. And the best that I would want is, um, I mean, the best that you should do is at least give two values before x and two, uh, before 0 and two values after 0. So, ano-ano yun? We have negative 2, negative 1. We have 0, of course. We have 1, and then we have 2, and we can add another value, say we have 3 and negative 3. Okay? So, what happens here? Ang gan um, the given would be, of course, y is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 1. Okay? And, of course, your first value of x would be negative 2. Oh, sorry. Okay? Anong gagawin? Ipa-plug in nyo. You plug in using what? Using substitution method. And according to substitution method, all the values of x will be touched except for the squares, the, the operation, and the constants and um, numerical coefficients. Substitute nyo lang. Substitute. Okay? So, after you substitute, you solve. 2 squared is of course, a negative 2 squared is of course 4. This one becomes plus negative 4 plus 1. This becomes 0. Therefore, y is equals to positive 1. So, ilalagay nyo dyan positive 1. Okay po, table of values lang muna tayo. Okay. The next thing that you do um, is of course solve for negative 1 naman. And you can do that using substitution again. So, we have this one negative 1 naman squared plus 2 times negative 1 plus 1 y is equals to this is of course positive 1 this is plus negative 2 and plus 1 y will give you an answer of 0 0 okay so for the other givens you can either solve manually or you can use your calculators okay um, using my calculator I will try to solve for for what I will try to solve for the value of for, let me see um, let me try to input that in my calculator um, let's solve for 0 okay. the answer for 0 is 1 next um, say that it's 1 it's 4 and for positive 2 the answer is 9 and for positive 3, the answer is 16. And for negative 3, the answer is positive 1. Okay, yeah. So, yeah. Um, having these things, you can now graph your given. And how do you graph class? You graph doing up by using the Cartesian plane, okay? By using the Cartesian plane, what would happen here is you will, of course, create yung um, x and y axis mo. And you just simply have to plot the points. Again, you just simply have to plot the points. And plotting points is, of course, some um, very easy lang naman if you are familiar. You should be. Okay? Let's remember this uh, given points. Um, magkakaroon tayo na. Let me just write it down. This is our points, by the way. We have point 1 as negative 2 and 1. Magkaka-partner po yan, yung isa. Ito yung 1, 2, point 1, point 3, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So, we have negative 1 and 0. We have 0 and 1. We have 1 and 4. And then, we have 2 and 9. We have 3 and 16. And we have negative 3 and 4. Okay, plus it's not necessarily po na dapat i-plot yung lahat. Okay? As much as possible lang, you at least plot 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 or 5 points lang okay na. Okay, so let's try to plot the points po. Let me zoom out a little bit and let us create our Cartesian plane. Let's create the entire Cartesian plane, sorry. Okay, there we go. Let's create the entire Cartesian plane and let's plot the first point that's negative 2 and 1. This is the x value and this is the y values. Ang unang given is negative 2, so we have 1, 2, and we have positive 1, which is here. So, this is our first point. Okay? Next, we have negative 1 and 0. Negative 1 and 0 is here. Next, we have 0 and positive 1. We have 0 and positive 1. Sorry, let me just make that a little bit smaller. And then, we have 1 and 4, which is here. 1 and 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Somewhere here. Then we have 2, positive 2 here. And 
uh, this is uh, I guess this is nine I guess yeah positive two and nine one two three four five six seven eight nine it's somewhere here but it's okay positive two and nine and then we have three and sixteen let's not graph that because it's a malaya let's go with negative three and four negative three and four somewhere here okay so it, the graph goes like this the picture of graph natin. let's use a red pen I don't mind my handwriting okay so the graph goes like this still it's parabolic okay po as much as possible let's graph five points na lang kasi you will notice na ito ay parang kahit hindi na kailangan okay po so this would be the look of your graph and the name of this graph is just simply y is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 1. Okay po? And this is our parabola. Or this is our quadratic function. Yung graph na niya. Okay po? So that is one way of um, graphing our um, our quadratic function. Okay? The other way of graphing this one is actually, I, I don't think that you need to know it for now. Pero yun yung tinatawag natin na um, vertex method we're in ginagamit natin ng um, properties ng um, the function to get our um, parts which is of course ang parabola kasi in mathematics we'll have the following part ito yung vertex yan importanteng part na yun just called the vertex okay po so i um, maybe um, we'll just discuss that on another lesson po okay let's just uh, graph one more using the table of values po okay sige um Let's go down here a little bit and let's have our function as let's example natin. Uh, say we have y is equals to x squared minus uh, let me think of something 6x plus 9. Okay, we have this given graph. Let's try to solve using the table of values and let's just get um at least five values lang po muna. Okay. So, our x is here and our y. I will not create the box anymore kasi medyo mahirap. Let's solve for x as negative 2. We have 1, 0, 1, and positive 2. Okay po? I will not use the ano, the manual method. I will just simply um, plug in our values immediately. Uh, assuming na gumagamit kayo ng calculator because that's, that is what I will be doing. Okay? So, let's solve for negative 2. The answer is, oh, it's a little bit big. It's 25. And then we have 1, it becomes 4, then we have 0, 0, 0 is 9, then we have 1, sorry, we have 1, which is 4, and then we have 2, which is of course um, 1, okay. So, we plot muna natin yung medyo madali, and let's extend a little bit doon sa taas. Y, kasi po, you will notice na ang Y natin is up until 25. So, sorry, ah, sorry for that. Okay. And maybe let's uh, skip count. Let's do it by 5. Okay? So, this is um, 5, 10, 15, sorry. Oops, sorry, sorry again. Sorry. Oops. 15, 20. 25 okay so what would happen here let's plot first 5 and 4 let's use some um, ones by dun sa x value okay but i sorry it's it's negative 2 sorry so this is negative 2 and this is 25 so it's somewhere here but and then we have 1 and 4 we have 1 and then 4 4 is somewhere here kasi sa baba siya ng 5 then we have 0 and 9 0 and 9 9 is somewhere here then we have 1 and 4, 1 here, sorry here, and then 4, it's somewhere here still. Positive 1 and positive 4. But is this, ah, it's 0 and 9, yeah, it's 0 and 9. Let us check a little bit kung tama ba yung ating answers. So the answer is 0, yeah, it's 0 and 9, zero and 9, and then we have for the 1, Four, positive one and four, and then positive one and two. So here, here at the bottom. Okay, let's check our answer. I think we have a little bit of a mistake here. Let's check the one. Oh no 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 no! Sorry, 
this one is negative pala. So, we have positive 1 pala. Positive 1 and 4 here. Ayan, tama pala. Then, let's double check. We, have, we should have 5 points within our graph. So, this is 2 and 1. This is 1 and 4. This is um, 0 and 9. We have both. Oh, we have 2, 1, and 4s. Am I correct? Ah, this should be negative. I'm really sorry. Okay, it's supposed to be 16. Okay, there you go. Yun yung, ano, yun yung kulang natin. Okay. There you go. So, this would be our given. And we, if we graph this one, so, if it should go like this. So, at some point, bababa yung dito, and then it will go up again. Kasi it's still parabolic. But that's the bad thing about um, graphing using the table of values. Bakit? Kasi your graph will just simply be a curve. Okay? And then you're not quite sure kung saan ba siya point aakyat. Kasi pwede siyang bumaba pa dito ng bumaba. For, for wala. Kasi ito yung graph natin, right? And dito yung banda. Pwede ba siyang bumaba dyan ng sobra and then saka siya umangat. Okay? We're not quite sure kung saan siya aangat. Okay? And that's the bad thing about the... Um, table of values kasi hindi ka sure kung nasan yung vertex niya okay when we talk about the vertex in a parabola it, um, just a quick review po the vertex is actually the peak pinakatoktok or our bottom yung pinaka baba okay the maximum value or the minimum value okay so hindi ka sure kapag table of values but still, you will be able to get a rough description of your given parabola. Okay po? So, yeah. So, that would be two examples of graphing parabola using the table of values. The next one would be using the, um, what do you call this? The next one is called the, the next one is called the, what do you call this? Um, the uh, vertex form. Okay? Mas madali siyang i-graph using that. Okay po? So, yeah. so, thank you for listening, everyone. That's just a short review on how to graph a parabola. Okay? Thank you for listening, everyone. And assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.